Regan Barney, a personal best this morning. A 451.43 qualified her in seventh place. Next to her will be Georgia Coates, who we've already seen in the 100 breaststroke, making her way from Great Britain. One of the names we started the show talking about, a chance for us to visit yet again with Caitlin Leverance, tied for sixth in this event at the 2012 London Games. Hannah Miley, your top qualifier from the morning, a two-time Commonwealth Games gold medalist in this event, already a winner today. Melanie Margalis sits in lane at number five. We mentioned how a lot of these competitors have already competed. She was in the 100 breast. She was on the 2014 Pan Pack team, where she finished 12th in this event. And there she is, Katie Hoth. So much on her resume. Two-time Olympian, bronze at the 2008 Olympic Games in this event. A two-time world champion in the 400 meter individual medley. Vien Win from Vietnam will be competing in lane number seven over these next eight laps. And your final qualifier from Great Britain, Abby Wood. As we go back to Katie Hoff, Elizabeth, talk, talk about Katie and what you think she means, not just to this event, but to American swimming. She was the face of American swimming, I would say, for at least four years. Um, I remember back in 2008, she was the Michael Phelps of the women's side. And this is her first 400 IM since, I think, 2010. So it'll be really interesting to see how she does. And I know she was talking to her coach before this, and they had sort of a deal where she had to swim a 400 IM in a dual meet at Miami to sort of test run and see if she was going to be able to handle it here. And she did awesome. I think she went 406 or something really fast. Um, and so Andy gave her the clear, and she, she's in it tonight. And she dreads this event, but it's been really good to her. So hopefully she can come back and uh, do what she used to be doing. Well, Rowdy, let's let's be perfectly frank. One of the reasons not only Katie, but most people dread this event is it's so painful. It's so tactical. Two lengths of the pool in each stroke, fly back breast, then in freestyle. There really is no chance to let up at any point. At any point, right? at any point, it really right. isn't. But but when you when you tackle this race, what, what, what are your thoughts on how how your strategy lays out? For my strategy, I'm always last in butterfly. And so from then on, it's honestly just a build up to freestyle and trying to catch the rest of the field. But do you kind of take each 50 or do you take each 100? I take each 100, but I try to negative split each 100. So it's kind of a building feeling yeah, through each 100. For sure. Which is, what's? The, I mean, it's very early in the race, but what's the most painful part of this race? Probably the third, uh, the, the third, third 100, 100, yeah. The breaststroke? The last 50 of breaststroke is where it starts to hit you. Right. And then you start thinking about the freestyle. And if you're not mentally strong during that point in the race, it's almost over. But I would say you have a like 90 to 100% chance of winning if you're touching first at the 300. Elizabeth, how aware are you of the rest of the field? Are you the type of swimmer that just stays within yourself or on an event like this? Do you notice where everybody else is? Because you're coming from behind, do you almost use that as motivation as you start to pick swimmers off? Yeah, for sure. I'm always, I always know where I am in the race, and especially in a pool like this, they have the scoreboard at the turn end, and I would definitely be one of those people <laughs> looking at my splits and trying to see where I am. But um, and it's nice because you, uh, the more you race, the more you know how everybody else swims. And mm -hmm. so, you know, I know exactly how Leverins is going to swim a race. Same with Hannah Miley. And, you know, right. that's one of the silver linings with Katie Hoff. They haven't seen her swim this in four or five years. So she could honestly swim it however she wants, and they don't know what she's going to do. Well, Hannah Miley certainly using her backstroke strength to move the lead. She'll touch the wall first with half the event still to go, the 100 breast and the 100 freestyle. Her time, 215.14. You know this field so well because you were one of the three finalists in the Olympic Games in 2012. Hannah Miley was fifth in this 400 IM. And, of course, Caitlin Leverins was sixth, and there you were in 2012 with the silver medal. How do you think this field shapes up now for 2016? Not only here, obviously, because you've got a couple of swimmers that could be finalists in, in Rio, but overall. This event is becoming one of the strongest events, not only in the country, you know, bringing in Melanie Margalis and Maya right. Dorado, Leverins, me, now Hoff is in it, right. but in the world with Katinka Hozu, Hannah Miley, Mireya Belmonte. Um, it's honestly one of the most stacked events, and it's going to be one of the most exciting Olympic finals for sure. Miley continuing to extend her lead, showing that prowess that she's developed over an excellent career. As Rowdy mentioned, you go back to the London Games where she finished fifth 
in this event. Her personal best, 431.33. You were so close to Katie Hoff's American record last year, 431.9. You were fourth in the world last year. Her American record, 431.1. What do you have to do to get able to get that? I don't one? know. I've been chasing that record <laughs> you have for so, been chasing long. It so long. And, you know, it's just a testament to Katie how awesome she is, and that's why the record has stood, stood for so long. Um, but, you know, I feel like maybe one day I'll just have a breakout swim and it'll happen. And I just can't think about it. I just have to let it happen. <laughs> Your best time's 431 2, right? Yeah. 431 yeah. 27. By the way, folks, that is only 15 100s off the fastest American time in history. She has the second fastest time, by the way, in history for an American swimmer. So it's, it's it, you're so close, and I know you're gonna get there. And you're, you're ver I think as they finish up, the versatility is so important in this event. You really can't have a weak stroke. Breaststroke used to be a weak stroke for you. Yeah. Butterfly used to be a weak stroke, but there's not that weakness now you see any of these swimmers that are so good. No, not at all. And if you're gonna put together a good swim, you, you almost have to be a good 200 stroke swimmer as well in all the strokes. Oh, all and, the strokes, yep. yeah. Hannah Miley, no question, she's going to win this event here in Orlando. The time, 436.74. It'll be Leverins in second, followed by Margallis in third. Let's see, that's still three one hundredths of a second slower than what Elizabeth Beisel did one month ago. <laughs> I still got it. You still got it. 436.71, Elizabeth went in Austin, so that's still a solid swim. That's the third fastest time in the world this year behind Elizabeth and Amy Wilmot from Great Britain. Here's the replay. Now, now I'm showing ha Elizabeth how to do it. She's gonna <laughs> circle. Hannah Miley, circle right there. This is Elizabeth doing this. There you go, circle. Oh, I'm not there you go, this. you're doing great. Now clear the screen. Okay, there great. you go, beautiful. <laughs> I love it. I'm a pro. She is a pro, a natural this. That's the breaststroke, that's the halfway point. As you said, <laughs> that's where she started taking control of this race. But here's the breaststroke. Take a look at that and tell me what you think. You. I'm talking to you, what do you think? <laughs> oh, I have like two old people talking about oh, it's yeah. tough, let That's me tell fantastic, you. <laughs> that's fantastic. I thought you were just being contemplative. I, like, I thought you were I really <laughs> studying <laughs> that breast stroke. That's a beautiful breast stroke. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Hannah Miley, your winner here in the Ford at IM. Hannah, just a great show of prowess in, in, on every single leg of that IM. Did you get what you wanted out of this event tonight? Uh, yeah, definitely. Um, a couple of weeks ago, I swam it, and I went a 438, and that felt hard, so the 436 there felt really, really good. Um, and it just means that I can progress on it each time I swim it now. Yeah, it's such a tremendous double. As I mentioned, that 200 freestyle earlier. How did that affect you going into this race? Um, my legs hurt a bit. I think I still had a bit of lactic acid in it, but it was good. It just means that I have to try and bring it home harder next time. I know Elizabeth Beisel's joining us in the booth. I think she may have a question for you. I know she was talking about your breaststroke. What do you think? I think it looked beautiful. <laughs> How's <laughs> Orlando treating you? Oh, it's lovely. It's so much sunnier than back home. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. You've got a nice little nice weather down here. I know all the freckles are coming up, and as you can tell, I've got the Scottish tan going on. <laughs> there you go. Hey, great double tonight. Thank really you very nice. Much. Thank you. Not only a fast swim from Hannah Miley, but some intelligence as well. Yes, you want to be in Florida 